Let's discuss a very important result which we are going to use again and again in the next coming module. So the result is about integrability of bounded functions and we have the if and only if condition, what we also call the necessary and sufficient condition for certain mathematical results. So the theorem states that if f is bounded on the closed interval a, b, then f is integrable on a, b if and only if for each epsilon greater than 0, there is a partition P of AB for which Riemann upper sum minus Riemann lower sum less than epsilon. For every epsilon greater than 0, a function F is integrable if there exists a partition P on AB such that this inequality holds for the Riemann upper and lower sums. Their difference should be less than epsilon. This is proof both ways, because if and only if condition, hai, I will suppose this one and then show that f is integrable and vice versa. Is ka ulert jo hai, wo bhi karenge ke if f is integrable, then I will show that that this condition holds. So first way, jo from this supposition that there exists a partition for every epsilon greater than zero, s of p minus small s of p, Riemann lower sum less than epsilon, is ko mein suppose karta hon, and I will show that kf is integrable. Up from the definition of upper and lower integrals, we have this one. For example, ye inequality maay paas hai, let me explain this one. The lower integral is the supremum of, of the set containing all p1, s of p2, so on and so forth. Ye jo lower sums hai, inki supremum hoti hai. So this inequality is true by definition of lower integral. This inequality is true by definition of upper integral. Since upper in integral is the infimum of the set which contains all the upper sums of certain function, given function. So lower sum, jo hai ye upper sum se less than equal to hota hai. Ye sabit kiya hai for all p. And this inequality is true for all partitions, for all P partitions of the interval A, B. Now, what do we do? We have we considered this one. The lower integral B, f of x, dx, minus the upper integral f of x, dx, or vice versa. Okay? This difference ko jo hai, wo hum consider karenge. So, the upper integral upper integral jo hai minus lower integral isko consider kiya that that will be greater than or equal to zero and this inequality jo hamari supposition hai this inequality implies yaha pe hamare paas agar main lower integral jo hai is inequality mein subtract karu we will have s of p minus lower integral d f of x dx less than equals the lower integral a, B, F of X minus the lower integral jo ke mere paas 0 aega F of X DX less than equals yaan pe kya aega mere paas upper integral F of X DX minus the lower integral F of X DX and I will have S of P upper sum minus the lower integral A to B F of X DX now this, this lower integral in fact is the greatest supremum. Supremum ki definition se, ye jo aapke paas koi bhi lower sum hoga, that will be always less than or equals to that lower integral. So if I replace this here by any sum, that will be S of P upper sum minus S of P. In dono ke dharmiyan relationship kya hoga, this will be greater. So I will have this thing less than s of p minus small s of p and this is by supposition less than epsilon. Now this is less than epsilon. This the upper integral minus the lower integral less than epsilon where epsilon is any greater than zero number. So any greater than zero number is less than epsilon where as epsilon greater than zero jo hai ye arbitrary number hai. It means that number equals zero. 
सो अपर इंटीग्रल इक्वल लोअर इंटीग्रल आ गया सो वी हैव द इंटीग्रेबिलिटी जो हमने रिजल्ट किया हुआ था लोअर इंटीग्रल और अपर इंटीग्रल अगर इक्वल हो तो फंक्शन इंटीग्रेबल होता है कन्वर्स यू विल ट्राई इट योर सेल्फ 